Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Get On With It Daggerfall. It's time for me to let out my rage and frustration on this game, so if you'll excuse me. Thank you. La 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 la. <laughs> I could probably, you know, get on with it quicker by, you know, just constantly sleeping and eventually unlocking the letter or what the fuck ever. But yeah. A little bit of a rage mode right now, folks. I am raging. I'm in berserk mode. Ah! Hoo! <laughs> Where are your guards at to stop me? Ah! I'm just a common citizen. Woot! Hey, looky there. That guard didn't notice me. Could I sneak up behind him, maybe? Do 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 do. do. <laughs> Oh, that was too rich. That was so fun. Funsies. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> they may or may not be amused about that. Well. Hmm. Maybe if I punch this door now. You didn't see me do that. You didn't see me do that either. That should not have spawned more guards. What if, what if I do this? Oops, I really didn't hit that very well. Ha 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 Halt, halt, you want me to halt? You want me to stop? Stop moving, stop everything? I'll be the one who judge what houses have value and what houses don't. Okay, everybody. Time to get serious. One moment. Not that serious. Excuse me. Yep. It's game time, everybody. Time to put on my war face. It's time. You want me to halt? Halt me yourself, motherfucker. I'll do Mountain Blade all over again, just like I did in one of my test videos. It's true. Bitch. Are you sad? You should be. Oops, I hit you. Ooh, he actually blocked my attack. I'm impressed, good sir. However, you didn't do well on that one. Unfortuitous. Oh dear. Trying to lag me into that axe? Oh, oh my. Look at you, good sir. Look at you. However, you don't win everything forever, because you actually suck. This will allow me to fill my wagon with all sorts of more goodies. Goodies! Because really, I needed more things in my wagon. It was feeling kind of empty and awkward and alone. So I'm glad we could take care of that, everybody. That was fun. Let out my frustration on the game. Practiced some skills, killed some civilians. I know there are more guards back there. Worst case, I can always summon more guards, but uh... I'm sure you guys got stuck somewhere along the way. Like somewhere along the path. You guys got stuck, right? Because there were more guards chasing me. Right? It wasn't just those guys. Uh, whatever. Oh, wait, okay, we're not going to summon anymore. This will be fine. S slated my bloodthirst for now. Don't mind those dead bodies, anybody. Oh, okay. Guess everything's okay. Good talk, everybody. Good talk. Ooh, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh. Oh, here we go. Excuse me, as I proceed to save right here. And, uh, dum de dum dum. You're stupid. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know, it's possible you weren't even aggroed at all. He was just a n normal guard walking around. I, I think so. I don't think he was even aggroed. I think you. Oh, God! They're coming out of the woodwork now, children! 
Look what I summoned. I choose you. I'm the Night Bane. I'm the Bane of all nights. I'm the Sun. Ha ha! I'm the Sun of the Glorious Necromancers. I don't know if you saw that, right? <laughs> See, there's a guard just wandering around normally there. That was fun, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Would not take it back for anything in the world. Their equipment sucks, though. I kind of wish they dropped better things, but hey. Why not fill the wagon with useless trash? What my level 1 character would have given to be able to wear the stuff. Dum de dum dum. Dum de dum. This body I already checked? Yeah. Alright, everybody. That's enough senseless slaughter for a day. For a moment, a wrinkle in time. Let's uh, cast some magic. And uh, we're going to call that a slaughter. Didn't even get hit. That's a shame, right, folks? I bet you would have wanted me to see. I'll bet you would have wanted to see me get hit. I know you out there on the internet, wishing I'd stop gloating, and taking down valuable members of law. You love for nothing more. The you love nothing more than to see me get my comeuppance. Well, not this time. Leap. Halt! 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 That was fun, everybody. Jumping, striking, blah, 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 blah. blunt weapon, and critical strike. We meet again once more, fair lady. We'll run. What if we just run this way? I guess that works. Run this way again. Listen, I want that fucking letter. I'm gonna keep recording all this stuff, too. I'll get this damn letter. You're not gonna stop me. I will practice all of the tricks and magic I have at my disposal. Well, uh, I don't think that's exactly what I wanted to achieve there, but okay. Practice some more coffee. Now some cracking. Until I'm out of spell points, rinse and repeat. Yawn. Too fully healed. Yay. Again, run this way. Get out of this place. Must. Get out. Must breathe. Fresh air. Why do I keep sleeping in that same room? The lady. It it seems inappropriate somehow, folks. But who am I to judge the, the moral system of this game? I mean, it's not like exactly have any valuable morals anyway. You guys still haven't scraped the dead bodies off? Do you have your own CSI out here? The impact of that weapon was major. <laughs> That's enough. Oops, practiced that too much. Oh well. I'll compensate by practicing this one less. We Okay, I'm getting slightly frustrated at the game now. What if I haven't talked to another not enough people? Okay, I'm not gonna worry about it. <clears throat> Maybe <clears throat> excuse me. It's more likely that I didn't give the game enough time and wait enough days. It's not like I, I, I should be really rushing into this anyway. It's a random dungeon wherever I have to end up going, so I'm not that excited. It's true. How many fucking days do I have to wait? <laughs> I'm about to go crazy. I may actually end up pausing the recording after all. If for no other reason than just make the game laugh and say, okay, since you paused the recording, I'm going to give you the letter now. Because sometimes things work out like that. And I'm really hoping it does in this situation. Right side, I'm getting lots of practice with my spells. That's good, right? 
I might actually, you know, cast spells in a dungeon now, as opposed to relying on brute strength, everybody. It's true. Probably not. I'll probably end up doing nothing of the sort. I'm not gonna rest here, damn it. I'm not gonna summon more guards. Let's not get crazy here. Rest until fully healed. Damn it! Let's fucking go talk to that asshole again. I was hoping all these days here would be enough. Apparently, I'm running in the wrong direction. Uh, fucking three floor tavern. I don't have this big of a problem in fucking dungeons. What the fuck, game? Let's do slow mo, because it's not like you're going crazy at all. Why do I hate you with a burning passion? Game? Here. Three days. That's not enough. Right. I need to go back in there and sleep. Try this shit again. Now I get to raffle, fucking run all the fucking way out of there again. After gaining another level. Yay. Maybe now that I fucking increase my luck, maybe I'll get fucking lucky. Whoa, you put me downstairs for a change. I approve of that change. Change! See, you'd be missing valuable gems like that if I just paused the recording. Oops, cast that too much. My bad, everybody. Griffith is not credit to team. Let's try this again. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't happen this time. I'm going to pause the recording. It's true. I'll do it. I swear I will. I don't make idle threats. I sometimes don't make idle threats. This is definitely not an idle threat. It is full of action and suspense and intensity. Thank you! This better be the right fucking letter, too. Dear Grimoth, if you are interested in learning the truth about Prince Talir, meet me at the Devil's Dungeon in Pythonus? 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 Of Sentinel. Meet me at the Devil's Dungeon. <laughs> That sounds wonderful. Okay, everybody, it seems like putting the game to the sword. And, you know, leveling up to level 16 was enough to do it. So let's go ahead and leave this place. In this case... Pith... That should be good, right? Uh, it's possible I should cast an anchor. I forget... I'm sure I cast an anchor at some point, but I've damn forgot. So let's go ahead and cast one now. It's not that expensive anymore. Find this place again. That'll be fine. Reckless. Ship two days. Go. Whee! Oh my god, get out of the way of the crazy ship! Oh, screw you guys. Let's try scaling the wall. It's been a while since we've done that, folks. We Yay, we did it. Now, let's not try to climb down. Let's just levitate. Whoosh. Let's find the Devil's Dungeon. I guess we'll go to the nearest Dark Brotherhood. We can ask for directions there. That'll be fine, I think. The design for these buildings is just so... You've seen one Dark Brotherhood, you've seen them all, folks. That's not true. It's probably similar. Hey! You know, this could look similar, though, to the place where, you know, Lord Castellian got screwed. Hey, you remember where he was? If we turn in and open this door? Right here? Yeah. I remember how that fucking place looked, even after all this time. 
Hey, now these act folks will actually offer to do guild things. You see, I was right. He was actually stationed in, uh... Hey, you know, I... I think that was an actual recording. You know, actually, I don't think so. I think that was, uh... <laughs> Maybe I don't remember that well. That could have been a recording that got lost along the way. That could have been me projecting past experiences of gameplay. I actually think where I ended up finding him in this game was... Oh, God. Like, just like some random fucking house. Oh, my God. I'm going crazy. <laughs> I'm, like, projecting past Daggerfall experiences onto... <laughs> I... I don't know anymore, folks. I, I don't know. Let's go ahead and find the tavern, the Devil's Dungeon. There's only three taverns here? Really? Northeast of here. Got it. I, I'm losing my fucking mind. It's official. I, this fucking game has made me crazy. I, I got, I gotta stop playing this for my own sanity. Now, Northeast. Okay, that shouldn't be bad. I probably didn't even need, need to levitate. But I did. I was tired of hearing my footsteps. Switch into look mode. Yup. Gonna get them drops. Now let's find this one fucking person in here. Would you possibly be in here with those? No, you wouldn't. Would you be... No. Oh. Now I gotta search around in a tavern in which I'm unfamiliar for the magical fucking ponies. Why am I raging so much today? Could be because I had to wait so long to get this damn quest. And these sentinel taverns. Bitch, 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 bitch. Shut up, Grimoth. Okay. No. 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 Run up this way. I will find you. Grimoth, shh. I would prefer that nobody sees me talking with you. It's come to our attention that the Under King is being wrongly accused of abducting Prince Talir. Before you judge, check into the fortress of there. I'll mark it on your map. Who am I? Just call me a loyal servant. Like me. Now move away before anyone gets suspicious here in this private room in a tavern. Go on, scram. Don't tell me to scram, bitch. I'll kill you. I'll cut you. Okay, everybody. Like I said, random dungeon. So I hope you uh, got your food prepared because you get to see Girth rage all over a random dungeon. Yay. Maybe it'll be designed like the privateers hold. I doubt it. Okay, where are the enemies? It's probably the camels again. Come on, little burglar. Whatever, thief. What the fuck thingy. Okie dokie, I found the, found the enemy. It's random sound fest. I didn't realize this was a techno. <laughs> Techno, uh, club. There we go. We'll go Techno Club. <laughs> Will you shut up? Stop! Hammer time. Thank you. There we go. War Garble. That'll be fine. I'll just head straight, and, uh, this will be a tree dungeon? I think so. I believe this will be a tree dungeon. Why do I keep turning in the wrong directions all these times? Okay, everybody. I'm prepared to lose my sanity all over again. You know what? Actually, this thing is lagging, too. Maybe it's just the tile set. Maybe it's just so advanced and so pretty and different from Dagger Falls that my, my game is going crazy. 
Oh! Bad move! Bad move! Bad move! Bad move! <laughs> oh, motherfucker! <laughs> so you with that <laughs> Oh, oh God! <laughs> One good thing I put my armor back on. Two good thing I prepared that spell. Three, I'm gonna die. War garble seems fitting in this circumstance, cause this is gonna be unfortunate, everybody. Let's go ahead and eat some pills, restore my health. I might no, 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 no. <laughs> Two days I was still within this crypt without food or water. I do not know whether hunger or poor health or one of the creatures who share this dank hole with me will kill me first. I only know that I will soon be dead, and not even my bones will remain. With remain. <laughs> my hope is that in the years that come, this letter will be read and the sad story of Talir, Princess Sentinel, will be told. I am 15 years old at the time of this writing and have been plagued with bad health for most of my life, to the frustration of my hardy parents. The finest healers and apothecaries in western Tamriel have labored over my every cough and fever. While they could save my life time and time again, they could not improve my sickly constitution. You should have gained a few levels. In retrospect, I received little real infection from real affection from the king and, king and queen, embarrassed as they were about begetting such a cripple as the heir of the kingdom. I cannot say I missed the love. I received much attention from the doctors, priests, and herbalists constantly at court. Certainly, I was not to be the sort of warrior that King Cameron was. One of my dearest friends, a priest of Stindar, said that I might be the first scholar king in the history of Sentinel. My younger sister, Abuki, was the true favorite of my parents, athletic, beautiful, and charming. It's hard to think of an un uncomplimentary word for her. I resigned to my imminent, de imminent death, and yet I would like to see her once again. For six years, Abuki and I were the only children of Sentinel. Eight years ago, the queen had a boy child and named him Grecleth, after the ancient Redguard word for strong king. Few speak that tongue any longer, but all the scholars and nobles of Hammerfell understood. And Grecleth is a strong boy indeed. I have never so much as seen him cough. The queen's next child, born only a year after Grecleth, had an even more ominous birth name, Loton, second boy. Perhaps had I been less sheltered, more suspicious by nature, I might have read into these nominations. Loton and Grecleth are common enough names in our family, I reasoned. Now I know that even then I was disinherited, even if it was not official yet. For several months before Loton's birth, and over three years afterward, I was in the throes of a very serious fever. The doctors despaired of me, but somehow, and very, very gradually, I recovered. For the first time, and the last, I read an expression on my father, the king's face, that was not indifference. It was disgust. That was a fortnight ago. Three nights ago, I was seized by wind, by men I had never seen while I was having a walk. My nursemaid stood by, watching placidly, as I was gagged and tied and thrown roughly into a sack. I do not know how long they rode with me, but I was eventually left here. When I finally freed myself from my bonds, I found that I was alone. My wanders have gotten me nowhere. This place is filled with undead creatures that prevent me from finding any exit. <sighs> I have no hope left, but no fear either. Few regrets. Perhaps had I studied magic instead of history and science, I could free myself of this place. One of my tutors told the story of the Underking, how he had placed his life force in the body of a powerful being and had thus conquered all Tamriel long, long ago. Had I only had the strength of a more powerful body like that. But I did not study magic. I studied history. So I leave this letter, not to revenge myself, but as an historic document. 
I was a little bit frantic and energetic at the beginning of that because I was just so surprised and amazed that I was found this close to the entrance of the dungeon. And, you know, it kind of makes it really sad now that he could not find the exit. Perhaps it was a cave-in of some sort. But, yeah, that is the tale of Tulir, Prince Tulir, the firstborn, and, um, I think it was the firstborn. Abuki, yeah, Abuki was his younger sister. Yeah, here we go. Figure that out. So, yeah, he was screwed over. Um, ditched, because that's the way things had to be in order for succession to happen as it hopefully would. Well, we're not so dead after all, folks. We kill the vampire ancient, we kill the zombie, and now we are getting the fuck out of here. I actually have enough mana to recast my poor man's recall. So we're going to go do that, and we're going to head back to the castle. Now, you can actually give this letter to a few other members of the royal family other than Prince Loton. I advise you don't. Because that just wouldn't be right. And you really don't get the information that you're going to want to get. I'm not entirely sure whether you can even continue for the main quest. I think it's a no. Since you didn't complete things the way you were supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and follow the yellow brick road. I think the palace entrance is down south, but that could actually be north. I forget things sometimes. Nope, it was south. Yay! Let's go ahead and save the game. That was pretty depressing, wasn't it, folks? Just sad times all around. On the bright side, we found the dungeon. We found the letter. I didn't have to go exploring, which I'm really happy about, game. I appreciate that RNG. I'm really surprised that things happened the way they did. Let's go deliver this letter. This, this what I most feared. Poor Talir. As I promised, here's what I've heard about Lysandus. I don't know how much of this is secret, but I trust you. Lysandus was in love with his court sorceress, a noble woman named Medora Dereni. And during the war with us, his queen found out. They say that while her husband was gone, Queen Minasera banished Medora from the court. My sister Abuki is queen now, part of the treaty to ensure peace. But Minasera still resides at Castle Daggerfall as the Dowager Queen Mother. I don't know where Medora went, but I know she has an enormous castle somewhere on the Isle of Balfiera. But I also heard there's some kind of curse on her, and she can never leave. I don't know if that helps you, but that's all I know. Again, thank you for Talir's letter. Just knowing what happened will ease my heart somewhat. Please take this helm as a token of my appreciation. Eh, sure. Alrighty, so we've revealed more of the mystery of what happened with Daggerfall. It turns out that the King Lysandus took a lover, who is a sorceress, who has a tower, who... And she may have a curse placed upon her. It might have something to do with the fact that, you know, she was a lover of the king. Can't imagine anyone being angry over that. Next time on Let's Get On With The Daggerfall, I'm going to go ahead and end this one here, we are going to explore the isle and see what we can do about that. Undoubtedly, she will have some information about either what's happening or how to put a Lysandus' spirit to rest. Uh, tune in next time. We get through, get on with that. Yay. I'm so happy that dungeon worked out the way it did.